it's Hannah, and clearly I'm not in my home because I am at my lair. I just got really <laughs> close to the camera. <laughs> I'm at Sasha's house for a week. Yeah, We're hanging out after BA and BookCon, and it's gonna be a really, really fun time. I'm kidnapping her. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I'm moving to Boston, sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're just like filming our book hauls because we have the time so might as well do something productive with it Yes, so go check hers out and I'm gonna do my book expo and book con haul now yeah, yeah, Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So book expo and book con are officially over and I am extremely sad because it was such a fun time I had an amazing time this year last year was great But this year was even better because I got to spend some more time with my wonderful friends And now clearly I'm at Sasha's house and we're hanging out and I really needed like this like vacation just like time away from life and all of the other things I have to think about to just be with friends and get some books and enjoy my time and it's definitely been that for me but yeah so I actually got a ton of books at book expo this year I was not expecting to get this many I had planned to get like seven there were only seven that I really wanted but as book expo goes you kind of just end up with books and you don't really mean to it just happens and then they come home with you I even had more than this actually but then I had to like give some away because I just couldn't fit them all in my suitcase case and yeah I didn't want to take more than I needed and I didn't need this many either but I'm kind of attached to all of these and because I have so many books to get through I'm not going to spend too much time describing what each one is about but without any further ado let's just get into them. Oh I also wanted to mention that I do have a book expo and book con haul that is going to go up. I'm not sure if it's going to be up before or after this video. If it is up already I'll leave it linked on the screen as well as down below so you can go and check it out but I did vlog my entire experience and it was so much fun so if you want to go and check those out you definitely can. But anyway on to the books. The very first book that I got I Book Expo was Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. This is Marcus Zusak's new book. This was one that we actually, I didn't know was going to be there and we kind of happened upon it. We just ran in line and we ended up getting a copy and I'm so, so happy that I did. I love The Book Thief. It's one of my all time favorite books. I haven't read it in so long, so I'm so excited to try out his new one. The next book I have here is one that I actually just got in like a swag bag from one of the parties that we went to and that is Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tuchelk. This is one that is apparently a gender bent retelling of Beowulf and that sounds so exciting to me. I read Beowulf during my first semester of college. We didn't read the whole thing, just like excerpts of it, but I really did enjoy the way that we discussed it. So I'm really excited to try this book out and see how it goes. The next book I have here is actually not an arc. This is a finished copy, I believe. And this was another one that we kind of happened upon. That was kind of like a theme of Book Expo this year. We just happened upon things and it ended up working out. And this is actually a comic by Brandon Sanderson and it is White Sand. This one is actually signed too because we happened upon a signing of his. So it's signed for Hannah, Brandon Sanderson, which is really, really exciting. So I'm excited to try this out because I've been getting way more into comics and graphic novels. So I can't wait to see if I like this one too. The next book that I have here is called Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is one that I've heard is actually a YA thriller and I'm so, so excited about that. My friend Christina Marie, who's also a booktuber here, she actually handed this to me because she didn't want it and I'd heard good things about it. And like I said, it's a YA thriller and one that I've heard is actually really, really good. So I've been getting more into thrillers also recently because I read Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Loved that book and I've been wanting to try more and more thrillers and eventually get into more adult thrillers as well. So I think this will be another nice one to try out. So hopefully I really enjoy it. The next book that I got at Book Expo is one that I'm so, so happy to have gotten. I wasn't expecting to get this even though I really did want it. Um, and that's because the line for it was like three hours long. But we actually ended up coming into the line like an hour, like after we just needed to wait for an hour. And we were almost at the very end of the line because they only had 75 copies that they were doing a signing for and I think I was number 68. So yeah, we really lucked out, but that is Tahar Mafi's new book, A Very Large Expansive Sea. This one is one that, like I said, I cannot wait to read. I've heard nothing but good things about it. All I know is that it follows a Muslim character post 9-11 and it's about how she is treated and how people perceive her after that. And again, like I've said, it's been blurbed by so many incredible authors who've said fantastic things about it, so I can't wait to see what I think too. The next book I have here is one that I'm so incredibly excited to have because I did did not think that I was going to get it, nor did I know if it was going to be there or not, but it was there and I actually got it in another one of those swag bags that they gave us by chance and actually it was in someone else's swag bag and they traded with me because they're wonderful. And the book is Check Please and it is actually a like graphic novel and it's one that I've actually been reading for a very long time. If you didn't know Check Please was like a webcomic for a very very long time and recently they decided to like publish it in like 
the actual book format. And it's one of my friend's like favorite web comics ever. She introduced me to it. It's basically about these gay ice hockey players. That's all you need to know. It's so cute. It's so fun and happy, but has its sad moments. And it's just amazing. So yeah, I'm so happy they're actually releasing it in the book now. And I can't wait to just reread this because I think I've already read like up until the very end of this one because they're going to do multiple volumes. But yeah, I've read it before. I adore it. Highly recommend you get your hands on this once it comes out. The next book I have here is probably my most anticipated thing that I wanted to get at Book Expo. And I was so, so happy when I got it. And that is none other than The City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. As you all know, Victoria Schwab is like my favorite author ever, one of them at least. I love everything that she writes. I will read anything that she writes. And this is her newest middle grade. It's basically about this girl who has a best friend who is a ghost. And she also has like a ghost cat, I think. And it takes place in Scotland, in Edinburgh. And like, what more could I want? It just sounds so fantastic. I've already started reading this one. I'm like five chapters in, but I love it so far already. And I know I'm gonna love it in its entirety. So yeah, I can't wait to finish this because I know it's just gonna be so perfect for me. The next book that I have here is another one that I was highly, highly anticipating. Definitely up there, like probably in my top two of ones I wanted the most. And we got this at an event that we went to, so I didn't even have to wait in the lines for it, which was amazing. And that book is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, the sequel to Strange the Dreamer, one of my favorite books of all time. And I can't wait to read this. <laughs> like I said, we got this at one of the events, at the novel event, and Lainey Taylor was there. And she like gave a whole talk, and then she signed and personalized everyone's arcs. So you know that I like died inside when that happened. <laughs> so yeah, I got to meet her her and chat with her for a bit, tell her how much her book has meant to me and how much I've loved it. So that was incredibly wonderful. It was such a special experience. And like I said, I can't wait to dive into this because it's going to destroy me and I'm so not prepared, but I need it. The next book I have here is probably one of the biggest books that I own now um, because it's like 850 pages long and it's an arc and it's just massive. And that is Priory of the, what is the title? The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, the author of The Bone Season. I actually recently unhauled The Bone Season and The Mime Order, not because I didn't like them. I haven't read them. I just don't feel like I have the time to get to them. And I have too many books on my shelf and not enough space. But when I heard about this one, when I heard that this was dropping, I got really, really excited because apparently it has dragons in it. And you know how badly I want a fantasy with dragons? There are not enough fantasies with dragons, which is alarming and really, really shocking to me because you would think that there would be more because dragons, but apparently not. So um, yeah, that's why I really, really wanted to get this one. And so many people wanted this. They didn't have too many, but yeah, I'm really excited to have it. A lot of people were talking about how they're not sure if they'll read it. I know I'm gonna read it because dragons. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to read it and tell you all what I think because I'm hoping that it's another favorite fantasy. The next book I have here is another one that I got at that novel event and it is Frostblood by Ellie Blake. This is actually a finished copy. All I know about this book is that essentially the author was inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender to write it, which as you all know is like my favorite thing in the entire universe. So how could I not be hyped to read this? There's elemental magic. Apparently the romance is inspired by Zuko and Katara. So like everything about this is everything I love and I'm really, really hoping I enjoy it. The next arc that I have is actually a poetry anthology and that is Disconnected by all of these lovely authors right here. This one is actually also signed by a few of the authors as well, like Amanda Lovelace and Cyrus Parker, Nikita Gill and Ian S. Thomas. I met them there. They were all so wonderful and lovely and it was great getting to talk to them even if it was so brief. But I love Amanda's work and I love Cyrus's work. So I'm so, so excited to read this anthology because as you all know, I'm really, really into poetry and I've been getting more and more into it. So yeah, I'm so happy to have this and again, can't wait to read it. The next book I have here is one that was actually just like kind of randomly handed to me. Haley kind of wanted this one and I ended up getting one too. So that's just how Book Expo goes. And that book is Girls of Paper and Fire. All I know about this book is that it's an Asian inspired fantasy and I'm pretty sure the main romance is a queer romance as well. I think it's between two girls. Um, but yeah, I've just heard that it's really interesting and a lot of people are really anticipating it. So again, this is not one that I was expecting to get, but I'm very excited to have something new to try out, something I haven't really heard much about. And if it has a queer main romance, that's also fantastic because we don't get to see that much rep of that in fantasy books. So I'm excited to see how it goes. The next book that I have here is another one that I was also highly anticipating and that is Blanca and Roja by Anna Marie McLemore. This is one of my favorite authors. She writes so much wonderful magical realism and I'm hoping that this is no exception. This one, all I know about it is that it is a Snow White retelling, but between like two girls, which sounds great. So I can't wait. I don't read too many retellings, but I do enjoy them from time to time. And I feel like mixed with Anna Marie McLemore 
Lee Moore's wonderful writing. This will be a fantastic story. So yeah, I've heard really good things. This one's already had some reviews out as well. So I'm hoping that I really enjoy it too. The next book I have here is one that I actually have like a really fun story because um, I wasn't expecting to get this one because it was like one that a lot of people really wanted and you had to wait in line to get like a wristband and everything. And I did not want to be there super early to wait in line for three hours. Um, but the book is The Darkest Legacy by Alex Bracken. This is the new book in the Darkest Minds series. It's kind of like a spinoff of one of the characters from the original series, which I just recently started reading and absolutely love. So I was really, really excited to hear that this was there. But like I said, they were not going to give that many copies away and you had to wait in line for a wristband because it was a signing event and everything. But I was just like walking around and we had met this girl who watched our videos. Her name was Valentina, I believe. And she was just talking to us. We took some pictures, we chatted for a bit. And then later on, we were walking around, we saw her again. And then she came up to me and she was like, Hannah, do you want my wristband for the Darkest Legacy signing? Because I can't go and I don't want this to go to waste. So she literally tore her wristband off her wrist and just gave it to me so I could get into the signing because she's the sweetest human alive and it was so, so kind. So thank you so much, Valentino, for doing that. You are wonderful and it meant a lot to me. And I'm so happy to have this and have it signed. I got to meet Alex and she was the sweetest. And yeah, overall, it was just a wonderful experience getting this book and I like the memories I have attached to it now. The next book I have here is another one that I was not expecting to get. I also didn't know it was gonna be there. And that is Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman, his son. They apparently co-wrote this book together, which is so amazing. And they were actually there signing too, but I didn't get one of the signed copies. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this out. I started reading Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman a little while ago, and I really enjoy that one so far, but I'm excited to try this too, as well as read Scythe and the Unwind series. And I just wanna try out all of his books. So I'm glad I got my hands on a copy of this so I could try it out too. The next book I have here is one that Sasha actually gave me because she had two copies and she didn't need a second one. And it sounded really interesting to me. And that is Bellwether by Susanna Kearsley. Honestly, don't know too much about it. All I know is that it's like historical fiction and it's romance. And I've been wanting more historical fiction and romance in my life. So I thought, why not just try this one out? See how it goes, see if I enjoy it. But yeah, it's actually even signed to Sasha. So I have a book that's signed to Sasha now. So yeah, I feel so special. <laughs> and lastly, of all the books that I got, this is one that I was so, so excited to have because I've been wanting this one for so long and it sounds so fabulous. And that book is Pride, which is actually a Pride and Prejudice retelling, but it takes place in Brooklyn, I believe, and it's inspired by the author's Afro-Latino roots, which just sounds so fabulous. I love Pride and Prejudice. I love any retelling of Pride and Prejudice. I will try anything like that out. And we waited in line for a long time for this one, but I don't regret it because I'm so happy to have it because I cannot wait to read it. Does this like keep moving down? I'm very confused. There was no way, because it was like cutting off my eyebrows. Yeah. And I was like, like, what is happening? Okay, I'm sorry if the camera shifted. I think the tripod was moving, but hopefully like this all works out now. I only have two more things to show you all. The last two things I have are just two samplers. The first one is King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. It's just a small sampler, but it has a really pretty shiny gold cover. I would give anything for an arc. I'm dying for one, but I just know that like, I'm still excited to read this. I'll take whatever we get. And lastly, the very last thing I got is another sampler. And that is a sampler of Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. And this is so short. Like this sampler is tiny. It's like how many pages? Like 15, 21, 21 pages. That's pretty much nothing, but like I will take the little scraps. This book doesn't come out until December and I'm dying. <laughs> the last book came out in like May last year, June, like right before I went to Book Expo and BookCon, but this time, we have to wait until December and I'm very sad, but like, still. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still happy to have this. I still can't wait to read it. Um, it's gonna kill me having to wait until December for it, but you know, I'm, I'm just gonna suffer just gonna suffer. All right guys, so that is it for my book expo and book con haul. Pretty much just a book expo haul. I didn't get anything during book con. But I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you went to book expo or book con this year. Did you get any books? Did you get any of the same books that I did? Which one are you most anticipating? And if you didn't go out of all the ones that I have here, which ones do you think I should read first and review for you all? Because you all like it when I review books and I never review books because I'm really bad at that. <laughs> if you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always, but thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video at my own house probably, <laughs> but I'll see you all later. Bye!